The Russian government's decision to stop paying wounded soldiers is being met with protests. Those serving in the military as well as those whose relatives are in the military are dissatisfied with this decision. This situation is expected to negatively affect the combat capability of the Russian army. It should be noted that the government of the Russian Federation, following instructions from Vladimir Putin, has sharply reduced payments to soldiers wounded in the war against Ukraine. This will allow the country to save billions of dollars, according to the Russian government. Until today, occupying forces were receiving 3 million rubles, or about $100,000, for any injury. The Russian government has introduced a three-tier scale where the amount of compensation depends on the severity of the injury. The most seriously wounded will continue to receive 3 million rubles, which was previously guaranteed to all injured soldiers, according to the document. Compensation for medium injuries has been reduced to 1 million rubles, while for light injuries it is now 100,000 rubles or $1,000. Experts believe that Putin's decision will cause serious discontent in the army. According to Bloomberg, Putin's relative and deputy minister of defense, Anna Sibilieva, raised the issue of how to distribute compensation more fairly earlier this month after visiting a hospital in Moscow and meeting with soldiers and doctors who voiced this idea. Payments to the wounded represent a large portion of Moscow's war expenses. According to analysts from the War on the Rocks, platform, by May 2024, one-time payments will amount to 900 billion rubles or $9 billion for the wounded. This data is based on information from France and the United Kingdom, according to which losses by May had reached 400,000 with more than 100,000 killed. The families of the deceased received around 14 million rubles, enough to buy a Lada Kalina car. Payments for the killed will amount to no less than 1.4 trillion rubles. In total, the sum will reach 2.3 trillion rubles, which is 6% of Russia's 2024 budget. As a reminder, Vladimir Putin, by his decree, ordered an increase in the size of the Russian army by 180,000, bringing the total number of personnel to 2.39 million with the number of soldiers increasing to 1.5 million. According to British intelligence, the war in Ukraine has become an expensive endeavor for Russia, especially in terms of personnel. Since the start of the war, Russia has lost 610,000 people killed and wounded. At least 10 people died in a blaze at a nursing home in Zaragoza, Spain, before firefighters managed to extinguish it, local authorities reported on Friday. Authorities were alerted of the blaze early Friday morning in Villa Franca de Ebro, about 30 minutes from the northeastern city. The cause of the fire was not yet known, local media reported. Jorge Azcon, head of the regional government of Aragon, whose capital city is Zaragoza, confirmed the deaths and said on X, formerly Twitter, that all government events in the region were cancelled for the day. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez also expressed his shock over the fire and deaths. The fire took place just weeks after devastating flash floods in Valencia killed more than 200 people and destroyed thousands of homes. The floods were the worst natural disaster in Spain's recent history.
Heavy rain hit Italy's southern region of Sicily Tuesday into Wednesday, causing cars to be swept out to see in damaged homes. Italian firefighters reported carrying out more than 70 operations involving flooding, road disruptions and people stuck in their homes or cars. Torri Arcarafi, Riposto, Jar, Acireale, and ACI Sant'Antonio were the municipalities most affected by the bad weather. In the small village of Altarello, four people were rescued after being stuck on the lower floors of their flooded house.